Hey guys, it's Kyle Bennett with HardoCP.com, and what we're working with today is the uh, Asus Strix X399E gaming motherboard. And uh, every time we come back and talk about these sockets on these these TR4 sockets on these motherboards, we get asked about properly installing Threadripper. So I was about to get this um, this motherboard back on the testing bench with our heat killer block on it, and I wanted to go ahead and just show you exactly what we go through here to mount these Threadripper CPUs and what we found to be the best kind of practice. So this is basically how to install your Threadripper CPU. Okay, so here we are tied in on the socket. This is uh, fastener number one, fastener number two, fastener number three. So when you get your board out, you're gonna open it up and you come back here and you can open this up till you feel that thread give way. And you can usually hear these kind of come out of the thread, they'll pop a little bit. Let's see if we can hear this one right there. So let's go to this one. Now that one doesn't have as much pressure on it since we relieved that over there. So we can see it spinning loosely, right? So we'll go over here to number one, we'll remove it. Okay. Once this is where we are, once this thread releases there, you'll see this will flip up and down. Let me take you a little bit wider. So we've got this action now. So this lifts up. All right. Now we have the carrier down here. So we'll pull these two little blue tabs right here. They're different sizes. Kind of grab up on them and just pull up. You'll feel it pop. Now that's a release. Okay. Now, this motherboard does not have it, and because it's already been removed, and I threw it away a couple months ago, there will be another piece of plastic down over this socket. You will push it up, or you'll pull, pick it up on either side and pull it straight out. I suggest you throw it away as well, because you do not want to put it back on there. I have damaged uh, the pins on these sockets. All you have to do is touch these pins to damage them. That is it. A little bit of dust down in there. I want to get rid of that. Okay, so take that off, get it out of the way. I suggest you do not try to put it back on because we have this protective cover that we can always use again. Okay, so you can grab this one right here on the end, pull it towards you, detents release, and out it comes. So the Threadripper CPU comes back in this carrying case, this carrying frame rather. Um, do not remove it from this. You want to leave that in there. Come back over here. Here's our frame, insert the edge into it. Now you can bend it down a little bit and let it carry a little bit of weight and you'll see some detents right there that it will slide under. Look at right there to the bottom, it'll kind of stop and you want to push it and you'll hear it kind of, you'll feel it kind of click into place. Now that's in. Now we go down with that. Okay, so it's seated right there. You'll feel a little spring to it. So we take our cover, push it back down, and now you'll notice obviously we've got a little bit of pressure on it because the, the CPU is actually in there. So you'll use the included Ryzen torque wrench. Now this torque wrench will snap. You'll feel it pop once it gets to the desired uh, torque. So you're gonna push this down. Now this wrench will not slide in or out of there. You can go side to side with it, it's not going anywhere. So as long as your motherboard is properly supported on a desktop, I suggest you can use a piece of cardboard. We use yoga mat on our desktop here. Um, so you wanna push down, and you can push down as hard as you want. You're not, you're not going to hurt this motherboard, okay? So a lot of times you can push down and turn it backwards. You hear that snap right there? So that snap was the, was the thread Catching, so let's do it again. And I'm pushing down pretty good and hard. Let's see. So there it is, a click. Now I can push down, and I'm pushing down hard. Now I can turn one. Now I know that that thread is caught, okay? Let's do the same thing back here. Hear that snap, and bring it around again. So I'm pushing down. Okay, there's that thread, and I'm pushing down hard. Now we can turn one, and now I know I've caught that thread. Let's do the same thing over here move my hand out of the way there's the thread and now I've caught okay so we did one two and three so now we have all three points started I'm gonna bring this around okay now watch the uh, watch the wrench 
I'm getting to full torque here. You'll see it pop. That's how a torque wrench works. Once your wrench does that, stop turning. All right, let's do the same thing back here. I'm doing this one-handed. I would suggest you use two hands yourself. We're there. There we are again. So that's it. That's everything about getting your uh, thread ripper down into the socket. Next uh, video we'll shoot, probably get to it sometime this week, and we'll talk about using thermal paste on these and what's the best way to apply those. This is Kyle Bennett with HardOCP.com.